This is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing my personal quote and blog for the 24th of October 2022. My quote for today. Embrace the moments that cause us to pause and ponder. Give yourself permission to giggle like a child, smile and wander. Listen to the youthful places inside. Let them move with the changing tide. Without the eyes to remember when, life will be boring again and again. And my blog for today. I took my friend to town yesterday and there was the hometown celebration happening here. It was lovely to connect with the people of Willits and to go shopping. We were very successful with both. There is a beauty in small towns that is engaging, simple, lovely, and life fulfilling. While I was never born in a small town, I have been learning how to flow with the patterns that unfold naturally here. I must admit, it took me a while. I was born in a suburb of Dallas, Texas, and when I was young, there were horse ranches close by, but it quickly was swallowed up by the rapid expansion and growth of a sprawling city. Now, my old neighborhood looks very different, but at least my father, who grew up in Brooklyn, gave me the opportunities to explore nature as he bought a lot on a creek and built my family home there when I was four years old. That gave just enough wildness to allow a child's imagination to wander and a place to make up stories and have secret hiding spots. We also had a lake house from the time I was about 11 years old and that gave more adventure into the mix. Every year at his two week vacation, we drove all night to Colorado and went camping, fishing, hiking, exploring. At first we camped in tents, but eventually we got a pop-up trailer that made things a bit less rugged. We had an outdoor shower and a stove to cook on, we did backpacking before freeze-dried dried foods, and our backpacks were also very heavy. Those many outdoor moments, horseback riding lessons, and fully engaging in making campfires and cooking trout out in the open flames has helped me to embrace the simple things, and it allowed me to adapt to living in a small town. The small towns protect what is good. They work together and do what they should. They try to allow children to grow in an environment that is where nature flows. I feel bad for those who only in the city dwell because in a small town, hearts weave a spell that open up the young and the old to what could be possible if life was less controlled. We want rules to keep us safe, but big cities create too many waifs. Children need nature to let their imagination run wild. That is what life is about when being a child. Thanks everyone.